um one of my bags it's not lost it just didn't make it on the flight because it was it was overbooked and i guess some of the bags didn't make it on um they didn't give me any type of information as to when it would come but anyway um the voice is also back sort of we're back in the raspy stage but at least you know we have sound coming out it's my first official time i've been here once it was in transit but i had the day to like step out and um this is my first time like properly experiencing Rwanda, so I'm, ve I'm very excited. Also, um, my drone was confiscated when I came into Dubai and I had to pick it up from customs on the way out of Dubai. Rwanda didn't bother me about it, so y'all can bring a drone. You heard it here first. No drones in the UAE. Rwanda so far, you can bring a drone. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. No problems. It was super smooth, by the way. Like there's no visa requirement, I think, for if you're visiting under 30 days and you're like Canadian, um, I guess some European countries as well. No visa requirement. There was no yellow fever. Not like it was the smoothest immigration process of life, honestly. Um, I mean, yeah, that's Rwanda for you. Very efficient. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. up in your business let me hold it back like this i am at my first accommodation for the trip staying here for two days I, me and my friend went to indabo cafe please 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 in advance i apologize for my pronunciation even though i am half burundian and the language is similar hey the food was pretty decent didn't really care for the waffles too much but um, yeah, I mean, definitely provided the sustenance that was needed. And now I am going to attempt to take a nap. I don't know how likely that will be. Anyway, yeah, we'll see. That's pretty much, I have no plans for the rest of the day, honestly, just kind of going with the flow. Yeah, the rest of the days I'm also going with the flow. I, I have an idea of things that I want to do. I just don't have anything like organized. I don't have an itinerary, basically. Let's see where this trait this tripe, yeah. Let's see where this trip takes us. Welcome to my Airbnb in Kachiru. It's called Wamala House. Absolutely insane entrance. At night, these lights go on. We have these birds that sing a funny tune. Very cute. And then we go down these stairs. And it leads you, after all this greenery, to the main entrance. So as soon as you walk in, it's already very nice, very well decorated. This is the living space. It's giving boho, like chic boho. There's greenery everywhere that's out onto the terrace. You know what? Let's go that way. We'll do the terrace and come back around. 
this is really and truly the main event of the house. This is the reason why I booked this Airbnb because you can't come to Kigali and not get a view. That would be absolutely absurd. Just look at the view. Oh my goodness. It's just absolutely breathtaking. She has these lights all up here at night. They go on. It's just very, very, it's just, it's just, it's really something. But yeah, this is the view. So it connects out onto like the, the front area. These are the doors. It's huge. It's huge. Absolutely love it. Honestly, this was literally the reason why I booked it. And if we walk down here, it actually connects to the master bedroom. So there's no view, but there is a walkout onto the terrace, which is still something. So this is the master. Love the mirror. Absolutely just love that space. I think she decorated it really, really well. And right off to the right, we have the bed. It's, I don't know if it's a king size, but it's pretty big. It's giving king size. The only th questionable thing about this house is the curtains. <laughs> she got Kitengen material, which is nice. But what are we really covering with that? All the bedrooms have very thin material. It's not too sure what the, what the vibe was with that. But yeah, so this is the master. The house is kind of old you know she just updated it where she could um so this is the hallway more plants then right there is the office space well i guess it's a room that was converted into an office a bit small to be an actual bedroom but we have a terrace view we have a brick wall here i mean it's it's very cute like you cannot go wrong yeah terrace view so imagine working from home and just looking out onto that mm. good stuff so over here we have another bedroom again with the questionable curtains that don't really cover much kind of funny but material is nice and then down here we have another bedroom but yeah, this bedroom has a mirror, it has like a shelf, and another like deco shelf. Also, terrace view. And then over here we have the bathroom, which is not really giving. I think there's some work to be done over here, but you know, she tried to add a little one too. Those are my bags, but yeah, she did a little situation over here, but um, yeah. So now we come back out into the dining area. Very consistent with the boho theme, very cute. There's this little sign that says, welcome to Wamala House. I don't actually know what Wamala means. I need to double check that. And then over here we have the kitchen. The light is shot, so we have no light in here. But yeah, it's very small, quite quaint. Um, yeah, I mean, same deco, but you know, you have all the necessities. Everything is under there, pots, utensils. There's some coffee, some tea up there, some water, dish soap and all that. But and there's like a fridge and a pantry-ish area. But yeah, no, it's, um, it's very cute in here. Honestly, I would come back. guys this is day i don't even know three yeah day three really yeah. yeah maybe day three i got my hair braided yesterday they did a really good they put their foot in it they put their foot in it but yeah no i'm super pleased with it it's not the color i had initially wanted i wanted blonde but they didn't really have the blonde i wanted so i just settled for ginger and i think it kind of suits me <laughs> but yeah anyway so did my hair yesterday, then we went to Lavanna. Um, what's the area it's in? Here? Yeah. At Lavanna? Yeah. Kimihurira. Kimihurira. What she said? What? <laughs> Kimihurira? Yes. I didn't pronounce that right. Um, so yeah, the food was honestly top, top, top. Service, it's different from the other service that you would get in Rwanda. Like the food came like this, the drinks came like this. Um, everything was giving. Honestly, it was... 
it was it's starting to turn my perception of Rhonda around because Yay. it was it, it was we weren't off to a great start <laughs> no you did what you had to do yesterday bringing me there um so today officially all I know for sure that we're doing is picking up one of my suitcases from the airport that was delayed so yeah we have been trying to vlog on the phone but we finally have the charger so hopefully we can switch back to the sony camera but yeah that's pretty much all that we have planned we're gonna have breakfast just now and then just kind of see where the day takes us wow right you were born for this man see you guys later breakfast is served with an amazing view shout out Cosine for elevating the takeaway. <laughs> we love that. Mm. The green smoothie, there's pineapple, spinach, ginger, lemon, and some other things that I'm not too sure about, but. have to do because we don't know where our guy is <laughs> no clue where you are michelle did something i locked this one this one's not secure not too sure what to do about that but we're gonna just hope for the best okay um i'm not gonna lie i think i think i did the right thing i had to get out the car the car is going through this scanning oh i thought you were in the car <laughs> I just saw you. Is that? Yes. No. Oh my is that goodness. A bus? What did you think? Oh my gosh. No. Rhonda, really? High level. Everything high level. We are finally at Hotel de Mille Carine. I got my bags. It was a whole thing because I forgot the lock and I had to ask some security to help me like get power tools to cut it up it was a whole thing and um, then we picked up karen came to swim i don't think that's happening it's kind of brazy um home girl doesn't even that's the thing that's the thing they don't wait when i'm not just knock on everything is yeah. actually hi cassandra's followers it's your girl miss k or mrs k <laughs> call it what you want anyways change of plans for the hundredth time <laughs> Guys, I don't know why we do this. Anyway, so we came at Mill Colleen, but it wasn't giving. First of all, it's like 4 p.m. Nobody swims at 4. I mean, I'm trying to swim at 4. But so we're changing. We're supposed to go for Marriott because the food and the vibe is giving five star. <laughs> wink, wink. But no, now we're changing to Wumge. Wumge is a four star, is it? It's, yeah, it's a it four star. Be a five star. So yeah, so we're going to Ubumye now because Miss Cassandra here is tourist and guys, you know why we came to Mill Colleen? <laughs> Cassandra brought us to Mill Colleen over some white people recommendation. Where did you meet these white people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Who comes to Rwanda and gets recommendation from white people? Like, who does that? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, she has a boo who's white. No, oh, no, no, oh, okay. No, no. This food that she's dead. <laughs> From beautiful Kigali I can never get sick of the views in this country it's just insane like everything I do is out on the terrace whether I'm on my phone whether I want to just chill like it's on the terrace we do not go inside unless we're sleeping um, honestly today is I think like day four or so 
I don't really actually, I haven't kept track. Like the time just keeps flying, it's kind of scary. I'm really sad that, you know, the time is almost coming to an end, but more reason to come back. But yeah, I'm about to have some breakfast. Rosin is not with me for the day. She had to go to work, so it's just me. Um, she sent me some suggestions of things to do, like an art center. Um, one thing for sure I know I wanna get today is local food. Karen, actually, I actually ordered some rice so I could um, eat it with the isombe she gave me yesterday. Ugh, like it was just, I, I met her for the first time yesterday through Khazin and I was, um, before I met her, I was telling Khazin, I was like, what are the odds that you think she has isombe at her house that she could give me? She didn't ask because she was like probably slim. Then we see Karen and Khazin was telling her as a joke, oh, by the way, Cass was asking if you had isombe and she was like, I literally had that for lunch. Why didn't you ask me? So anyway, it was just, Beautiful magic, we dropped her off at home and she gave me a container of isombe, so I am dying to try that. Um, not even try it, just eat it. I know that it tastes bomb, so um, yeah. So that's on my to-do list for today. Um, and yeah, I mean, the rest will kind of just see where the day takes us, but I have ordered some food from Java House. I got some pancakes and sausage i think okay one sausage oh there's two i was gonna say how generous so this is the rice for my isombe and i think this is the side of fruit salad that it comes with yeah and then i got a green smoothie good stuff and that's just the syrup but yeah that is my morning so far i will touch base with you guys later so just as I had established an activity to do, um, I chose to do horseback riding at Fazenda, I think it was, and I was just about to step out. All of this happens. Like it's raining pretty heavily. I have to pick up my, my charger actually, but it's raining pretty heavily, so that is a dud. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go to, oh shoot, I need to be by my phone because the cab will text me. But um, yeah, I'm going to find something else to do. I think I'm gonna go to an art center called Inema that goes in. Yeah, they called me, hold on. We made it to Inema, um, which I've just learned is a combination of the names of the owners, Innocent and Emmanuel, Inema. Um, I mean, so far it's pretty nice. I'm not really an arts gal, but it's colorful. It's the, the canvases are huge. Um, yeah, so we'll just kind of take a tour around, we'll walk around, and see what they have to offer. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. What was your name? Abel. Abel. Yeah, Cassandra. Cassandra. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. turned out to be much nicer than anticipated. Um, I ended up at Inema, the arts center, and I mean, the art was pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. And then I met one of the brothers, and yeah, we got to talking, and then he was like, oh, do you wanna go to the other um, art center, which is Choose Kigali, which I've heard about, like everyone was telling me, you know, about like, oh, it's an experience, they have the fine dining, and um, yeah, so we ended up coming to Choose, and he showed me around beautiful grounds, absolutely breathtaking views. And then ended up coming to the restaurant. So now I'm at the restaurant, about to have some filet mignon. And I have this insane view. Let me see if I can turn around and show you guys this 
insane view. These are fried yam chips that I've been given with some avocado mayo. Fancy. Mm. Mm. That mayo is serious. It's very nice. Very nice. Yeah, a lot of calories. They are not like mixed. Mmm. And they are still fresh. So that makes it really tasty. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. Exactly. Montreal. Montreal, yeah. Yeah. Guys, this is some real fancy beef. I should have asked for well done because usually when I ask for well done, like, they kind of do it too well done. So I'm like, excuse me, let me ask for medium well. And yeah, they really listened. So. Mm. Look at this vin rouge sauce. I thought it was some beetroot tea. It's really nice. This is the what was this again? The something the fondant, salad. chocolate fondant. Yeah. Very With fancy. Berries. Yeah, like a Lint strawberry leaves. jam on top. Mint leaves. Mm. The icing sugar. So. Yeah, perfect. So the lad is a garden, and the man is a Mm-hmm. This is very, very fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Made from scratch? Mm. Made from here, everything. All ingredients, they bring it and make it from here. Mm. Mm. You can tell, you can taste the freshness. Yes. It's my favorite, I always taste the last. <laughs> yeah, it's super good. Mm. Mm -hmm. day five or so everyone is still sleeping i got up really early today um, it's kind of gloomy outside i was gonna go outside and sit for a bit and maybe take some photos but it's rather gloomy so i might just wait to do that um what i'm really about to do is warm up my isson bit so i think i'm gonna have to warm up the food on the stove because there are no there's, there's no microwave, so that looks just about right. Okay, and the soda is in the fridge. <sighs> there it is. In all its glory. Look at that. Cannot, can y'all see that? Cannot wait. Ah! Warmed it up. Gonna take it outside because, like I said, we do everything outside. We're gonna go to the terrace. Mmm. Okay, Karen. This is what I came here for. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Woke up finally. Yeah. <laughs> I was there chilling on my own. <laughs> And yeah, look at you making breakfast out of leftovers. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys. So you know how we said we were um, having some for breakfast? No, it's giving brunch now. So these are some leftover um, pancakes. Come close. <laughs> these are some leftovers, but we are making good use of it. And some wine from Simba. I do not recommend this wine if you love yourself if you actually love yourself like do not buy this wine that is a big fact 
Here we are, still with no plan. Actually, we have a plan. We do. We just have, we have a clear plan now. What's the clear plan? I'm not aware. We, we are going to Inha Steakhouse mm -hmm. for a light, light uh, lunch. Yep. And then after that, we'll go to Onomo for just a drink or two, take content. And then after that, our friend Clarisse has, I don't want to call it brunch anymore because we've pushed it to 4 p.m. <laughs> but it was supposed to be brunch initially for some is so big mm, main voilà. event question though you you mentioned two places but we're still in the house yeah it's giving it's, leave house straight to brunch no it's giving mm. let's leave now it's giving we have five minutes in this house okay bye y'all y'all heard her <laughs> oh no the struggle is real do you need help uh do you see any sign of uh of life no sign of life. No. Oh my god. <gasps> this cannot happen, guys. <laughs> can I help you? I don't know what I would help with, but I can give you some type of support. No sign? No. Not me. No, no, no. Girl, first of all, can you call? Is Michelle there? Oh, wait, yes, yes, yes! Yes! We're live! We're live! We're <laughs> I am a slay queen slash a mechanic. So Amen. I do it all. She does it all. Wow. But it died? Is that part of the process? It just died. It, yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when we get... This is another part of the Airbnb that I am not very fond of this rough 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 <laughs> <laughs> facts 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 but also facts. i don't have the best driver so i don't really know what to tell y'all what do you Maybe. mean <laughs> i'm a driver slash mechanic slash <laughs> content creator like it's everything under the sun exactly. under this hot kigali sun i'm really sweating out here honestly my gosh it's actually hot my name is Tarbe Tomahawk. It's our signature stick. It's a double ribeye made by 900 grams. Which one? This one? The tomahawk. This one here. As you see here on the picture, yeah. it's uh, the one we chose to make the signature stick. Yeah. This one here. As you oh. see, we slice it, we take out the bone, and uh, just the bone comes as a display. Oh. It comes exactly as you see there on the picture. That's Another so nice. Here, I'm gonna lie, guys, taking content is hard. I am so sorry. I didn't take any footage of the bevies of the steak that is now being eaten it's really good it's really good service is really good the drinks are really good there's stray cats which is a problem honestly but they can't control that i guess um i'm sweating as i do anyway honestly it's really good guys i would come back cuisine is obsessed with this place um, yeah so after this we are going to get more food more isombe and ugali which i'm really excited for which is what i wanted but I can't fill up too much on this because. Really? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, we'll see you there. Welcome to the last day in Kigali, very sad. Um, honestly, I feel like if you're coming to Rwanda a week and you really want to do activities, a week probably isn't enough. I think I would definitely have benefited from two weeks here, especially since I'm completely new. So, you know, you want to get like a feel of the city. You want to get a feel of like going up to see the gorillas in Musanze. You want to do, there's so much to do. Go to Gisenyu, like honestly, and they're all, you know they're not they're like what two three hour drive away anyway all i've done is eat and i think we are continuing that theme today um we just got breakfast from bagel house i got in a bagel with sausage egg and bacon and Josine got ham and cheese or wow <laughs> bacon bacon egg and cheese bacon egg and cheese and i got a lemonade and she got 
an iced caramel macchiato, which I actually should have got. What's the place called? Bagel House. Yeah. Um, honestly, the food here has been good. Like, I'm not too mad at the fact that all I did was eat. Um, so today we're going to the Serena. We are um, gonna check out a market there, and then we are going to get more food. We'll, we'll see how the day goes. We'll catch you later. Wow. There's no even, you can't even ask me. Did I give you permission to test? We're one and the same. Thank you. It's actually quite nice. Yeah. Wow. It's really good. Do you want to taste my lemonade? No, I actually don't. Hmm. <laughs> it's not the best. It's kind of bitter. At the Kigali Serena now, we are about to enter into the market to see what it's giving. Hopefully I find something. I really, really, really want a robe. I know it's super particular, but my mom got one from Burundi like three years ago and I'm obsessed with it, lost it. So I'm hoping I can find something similar here. We shall see. Okay. The black and white one? I guess not. This is cute. I think it's cute. It's very cute. I and love then you it. Would, how do you tie it? Oh. Hold on. Interesting. Mm. Is it quenching your thirst? It's really quenching my Yay, thirst. I'm next. It's real hot today. I can't cope. This? Girl, cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Sorry. So I just left the market. I didn't end up buying anything that I wanted to. I ended up buying infused honey, which it's a bit complex to take it out of these bags. I'll show you after I eat because your girl's hungry. But um, at least I got something. I just, I wasn't able to find any like robe that I really wanted or like a kimono type thing. Oh, food's here. But um, yeah, so now we're at four points. Um, at Sheraton, we're about to get some food. Don't know what the motive is for later. The local food plan just completely out the window. This whole trip is just vibes. It's oh, that looks that looks kind of good. Kind of looks like Pizza Hut pizza, actually. But yeah. I don't really know what the plan is after this. I think we're just gonna chill and do a wine night at the Airbnb. And then I'm gonna have to pack and then tomorrow morning it's bye bye Kigali, unfortunately. But um, yeah, looking forward to the next location. So I will catch you guys later. So we are in town. I just needed to exchange some money. So you hung up? Then I got some little bits and bobs from a gift shop. And now we are going to select. in my towel to come see the sunset the sunrise because i haven't woken up early enough to see it oh it's so pretty now this is absolutely gorgeous i finally was able to wake up well i mean i have to i'm catching my flight at 8 a.m so i was up at 5 30 finally was able to see a bit of the sunrise absolutely stunning I'm gonna miss this gorgeous, gorgeous terrace, this gorgeous deco, the nice, cool morning, fresh air. Okay, I gotta get ready. I'm gonna miss all of it. Honestly, ugh, loved it.
Loved it, loved it, loved it. Renovations. So we're on the way to the airport. I'm already sweating like a pig. Ugh, just moving the bags and being outside. Oh, my Airbnb host, she is so lovely. She's just, she came super early to meet me. She let me use her charger the whole time I was here because my bags, I know, right? My bags were, um, were delayed in Dubai. Wow, road is giving. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's so sweet, honestly. I really, really love her. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do love her. Wow. Um, strong word, no, but you know, when people are just when they make an impression, yeah, okay, I really like her. Bro. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Wumala House, if you're ever in Kigali, check it out on Airbnb. Um, sorry, my eyes, these lashes. Wow, I just want to rip them off. Shout out to all you girls that be having these on consistently. I know. Because it is effort. Like, not being able to rub your eyes is really doing my head in. But I'm so sad to be leaving. I'm really sad. I'm really sad. I'm going to miss this unpaved How much were they? You oh. missed the unpaved fraud. Well, not really, because I'm, I'm about to get it in Kampala, so... <laughs> Actually, please, hurry up and get on the paved road so I can get some type of um, good, steady content. Guys? <laughs> we just got stopped by the military because I was trying to just take, you know, a video of the nice road with the nice trees, and it just so happened to be the president's office. Tell the them that I told you that it's the president's office. <sighs> Remember when you when you when I told you you say things and they don't really register? Wow, like, now you need to But how was register. I I've been here for like two days. How was I supposed to remember this is the street? They all look the same. Literally we're <laughs> going it's, it's actually close to a house, but it's close to the Airbnb of a whole. Imagine I'm late for my flight, first of all. These okay, first this is this is the story. I'm vlogging the streets. And then all we see are military men stopping the car. Come, 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 come. And she just knew it, she knew it. She's like, it's your camera. They stop, they op we open the window and they're basically, she, she was shot into them because, you know, language barrier. And um, essentially, you can tell the people what they, what they told you. <laughs> they said that they asked um, what camera was it? Was it a video? Was it uh, a picture? Uh, before you, they did not want you to delete it, by the way. No, I know, they didn't but they didn't want you to delete it. I was showing him the footage, and then I was like, "Look, I'm gonna delete it. Like, there's no problem." So as I'm deleting, he's like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait." The footage was deleted. Now they're on the walkie-talkies, talking to I don't know who. I don't know if the president himself is gonna come out. I don't know if I'm gonna miss the flight. I've I've, I've, I've 20 minutes until I'm officially closed. <laughs> for check-in. Hey, 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 hey. Honestly, I think the fact that, you know, I sound like this was a help because it was really giving innocence, I think. But yeah. also shout out Cuisine because- And I think, thank God that we're women. No lie. Funny, not funny, so. <laughs> Juanda is not a country to play with. You heard it here first, <laughs> okay? Come here, find out what the rules are, follow them follow them and I was about to be stopped for a video when I have a drone in the back that is also illegal in the country Woo, I'm, I'm nervous now let me let me go back to the chaos I can't wait to enter Uganda <laughs> I can't wait oh my gosh literally I'm so I'm like I feel nervous I'm even like am I okay to vlog here like I, I don't want it anymore but you, in. Know, you know what you can do though you can't vlog the police at all at all yeah I, but I didn't even see them, honestly. I, no, I'm talking about these police. Okay. 